Is yeah. there any chance, or is that strictly for Letterman? What of the Lone Ranger story? No, I don't. I'll tell you the after story. Okay, yeah, uh, everybody knows it. You can go online and see yeah. the original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, um, it's a treat for people that don't know it. Jay does it every year on the Letterman show. They know. At Christmas oh, time. Somebody okay. knows it. And but uh, but the Lone Ranger. I opened car dealerships. I was a disc jockey, and you can see the whole the whole thing. And so uh, after it's over, there was a there was a car wreck, and the Lone Ranger helps me and my stoned friend out of this situation. So we get back in the car, and and we're driving the Lone Ranger back to this hotel, motel, in Charlotte, North Carolina, right? Uh, and so we're so thankful he helped us out of this wreck situation. And we get him back to the Red Roof Inn or whatever, and is there anything we can do for you, uh, Mr. Uh, Moore? And he goes, uh, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> could there be any, um, perhaps, entertainment or... <laughs> or... Or, or, and we go, we realize he wants a chick. <laughs> and he's wearing the mask and the hat. The whole he's time. wearing the mask and the hat. <laughs> the full Lone Ranger. Yeah. Get up. I, I just recently, his, his daughter contacted me to tell me how I kept her father's memory alive. And I said, well, I'm going to tell you a story that's going to ruin your father's memory for you. <clears throat> and I told her this story. Um, I said, so... Mike and I knew this girl. Her name was Melanie, and her last name is a color. You can pick whatever color you want. It's a color. And she liked to screw celebrities that came to town. And we would call her up, and we would go, Melanie, you know, um, you know, Cheech and Chong are in town. <laughs> She'd go, fuck Cheech and Chong. You know, <laughs> Melanie. Um, Tony Orlando is in town. She, Suck Tony Orlando, you know. <laughs> Tie a yellow ribbon around my dick, you know. Uh, so, you know, and you knew Melody was there. So we call Melody up, you know. And the Lone Ranger, the, the show had been off the air for quite a while. Sure. And she was, you know, much younger than we were. And so I go, Melody, <clears throat> we're, we're in front of the Red Roof Inn right now. And the Lone Ranger <laughs> is in town. And it's dead silent. And she goes... Really? I go, yes. And he, we've told him all about you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I said, look, we're going to come get you. And she was a lovely girl. Her father was like a big realtor or whatever. And she would bring girls to me who had never had an orgasm. And I would make sure they still never had one. Uh, but would work, would work with them. Would work with them. Um, and so, um, you know what works? You get Tupperware. And you know when you click it? You put their clit in there and you click it. <laughs> and it Somebody works. Somebody got a pen? Yeah, write it down. So uh, I, I, uh, so we, we go get Melanie. Tupper we bring her back to the Red Roof Inn. And I say, look, we're going to go out to this radio station. And I'm going to get the William Tell Overture. I'm going to bring it back to my apartment. And after you're done, we're going to come get you. You will not speak. And you will come into the apartment. We're going to play. And you will tell us everything that happened when you entered that room. We wait, you know, about an hour, hour and a half. Get back to my apartment. I make sure, you know, this is, you know, turntables and all that. My friend and I, we take showers. We get ready. The phone rings. We go get her. Don't speak. Don't speak. We get her back. And she goes, I went to the door and he opened it up and he had on a blue robe that looked just like the Lone Ranger outfit. And he wore these glasses that looked just like the mask. I said, what? He dressed just like the Lone Ranger, except in casual wear. So she comes into the room and he has food and everything. And she said, he had equipment. I said, equipment. <laughs> He had, and you know, we didn't know from vibrators. And, you know, we didn't sell the bullet. We used our penises. We didn't, you know, you, know, you want to vibrate? We shake our dick a little bit. You know what I mean? You know, you know, put a put a fucking you know electric toothbrush up your ass. That was about the amount of whatever. So, so she goes. He was he was wonderful. And when he takes his robe off, finally, he has pajamas that are the same color as the Lone Ranger, you know, outfit. 
and he made love to her, and he vibrated her, and did all of these things. And meanwhile, in the background, silver. Yeah, that's a true story. <laughs>